Hey guys, so we are just trying to pack up because we're going off to our cottage for the long weekend. It's a long weekend in Canada. I don't know if it is in the States. Anyway, we're just trying to pack everything up, like I said, unfortunately because of my incisions and because I'm still having a lot of pain in my back and chest, I can't really do any of the work, so I'm just waiting for Krista to come into my room to help me pack up this mess. Here's Krista! <laughs> How did they say that? You know that, here's Johnny, like, what was that? No, like the scary movie, Psycho. Mm, I forget. Was it like, it, like I said it? Krista's, like, number one hate in life, I think, is packing. Like, she's, like, ugh. Sometimes when she used to have to come over here, like, if my parents are going away for a week, like, because I don't like to stay here by myself with the two dogs, especially if I'm not feeling well. So when she'd come over here, she's like, I'm not coming. I can't pack. I can't do it. I'm not coming. I hate this. I'm never leaving home again. So she, like, hates packing, and I'm making her do a buttload because we have so much stuff to bring up. This should be a good video. <laughs> Krista, figure out how to, you can't, Krista, it doesn't go like that. The rebel part goes on top. I know. Figure out how to do up a camera box. Ha! I look stupid in the whole math thing, but let's see if she can figure out how to do a box. Number one, this is harder than the math question. Number two, I will undoubtedly figure it out. And number three, I don't see you doing it. I think your box is faulty. Cause okay, look, this part goes in here. It's fine, but why does it stick out like an idiot? What the? No, no, this can't be right. I think it goes. I think they did it wrong. I don't nope. I think this is like some mean person made this box to make people feel bad about themselves. Feel the goddamn box so people I don't have to watch you anymore. It. It's impossible. What is going on? <laughs> it seems stupid. Like, why does it stick out like that? No, don't get it. Don't get it. Don't get it. <laughs> don't get it. Don't get it. <laughs> no, don't, no. Don't get it. It just shows you how much more street smart I am than you. That is not street smart. Okay, maybe you're box smart. <laughs> I am box smart. Goodbye. Oh my god, even I have to admit that this is kind of disgustingly stupid. The amount of stuff that we're bringing for three days. Saturday, Sunday, Monday. That's just like toiletries of hers, toiletries and makeup of mine, although I am filming stuff. My computer bag, camera, tripod. Then I don't know why she has this much stuff. Out of all this stuff, only this is mine, my suitcase. She's got like one, two, three, four bags, plus her uh, purse. I don't think I mentioned this yesterday, but today is graduation day for me. Um, I am moving from liquids to pureed food. I know I showed you guys before, but like just seeing it all together, I don't think it looks as bad on camera. Why I have so much. I don't think there's an explanation needed. You did? I've never told like, them my pee story. I should tell them my pee story. Camp, I was like maybe six, seven years old. And I had to pee before we left camp, which was quite a ways from where my house was. But apparently there wasn't time because we had to get on the bus. So the entire bus ride, I was like, oh my god, I'm going to pee my pants, I'm going to pee my pants. They drop us off, and I have like a three-block walk home. And those were the days when you, I guess, let a seven-year-old walk home by themselves. That would not happen these days. Anyway, I had to pee so badly. So I had always seen that when dogs are walking, that they lift their leg trying to do it you guys can't even see it and pee on a tree so I thought that's what you're supposed to do when you peed out in public so I walked up to this person's tree I remember the tree and lifted my leg and peed as one of their neighbors was looking at me like I was a crazy person and then had to walk home with wet pants so Krista and I are just heading into home fence to look for a couple of things for the cottage before we go up so Krista is killing me here I didn't, my body is telling me I'm not ready to be up and walking I feel so sick it's oh, taking 10 years to decide what color 
of beige sheets she wants. Well, I don't even want beige. Does she want the creamier beige or the lighter beige? Just F and decide so I can go back and sit down. Please. So I had to leave Staples, just, I cannot stand in there anymore, and just in so much pain, and I don't wanna oh, put myself into the position again that we're driving back to the hospital instead of to the cottage. I don't know, I'm feeling pretty frustrated right now. When I had the surgery, the nurse that took me down to meet my mom was like, okay, now tomorrow you go out and go shopping, at the, or not shopping, sorry, walking around the mall, and like, we went to HomeSense and we went to Staples and Winners and it's like where you park the car and then there's the store and like I'm just dying at this point so it's just frustrating. It kind of sucks just especially in the summer to lie in bed all day and at least my sister has been really good about it like she's been keeping me company like unless she has something to do she's usually lying in bed with me even if we're watching like separate shows or doing separate things on our computer just to keep me company which is nice, but I don't know. I just feel like I'm at a low point and I'm just frustrated because, I don't know, I'm used to being in pain every day because I have fibromyalgia. Like, I don't, I don't know why this seems to be hitting me harder than the other pain that I usually have, but it's just, like, even now, like, you can tell I'm, like, out of breath. I'm, like, sweaty. I'm gross. It's just, I just feel like absolute crap and I'm really sick of it. And it's not fun thinking, like, you made this big decision that costs so much money and then, like, regretting it and I know like I probably won't once I get over everything but I again like I said I'm just so frustrated because I feel like everything was made to sound so much easier than it actually has been and that it's going to be and it just pisses me off I'm really not feeling well again people are gonna be like why are you taping this but I mean, I was shorter. Even if I do, like, you can see what it's like having this surgery. I just feel like I've made the biggest decision, like, I made the worst decision of my life, and I just so regret having this done right now. <laughs> it just sucks. I just wish I hadn't done it. We are stuck. It's not really behind, in front of the world's slowest and longest and most spaced out train every time like look looks like it's done oh no nope, there's another car and then after this one it will look like it's done nope oh, another car oh my god it's stopping it is <laughs> stopped on the track <laughs> Our luck. Oh my god, now we have a second train. Oh my god, the second train is still going. I think we've been here like 15 minutes. Oh my god, pray for my life, pray for my life. Oh my god. Oh, oh thank god we made it. Oh, I'm alive. Look at how happy this face is. <laughs> Wanna see why it's so happy? Because I said, we you see the cool thing we have in our backyard. So many photo opportunities. Oh, I'm, 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 Bam! These are the sort of like drunken photos that people take when they like sneak into one. We have one in our very own backyard right now. <laughs>